Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the Mel Robot Damashi or the Robot Spirit High New Gundam. And uh, this is the first one out of the line, or, or in terms of Robot Damashi, that they've incorporated diecast parts, you know, adding actual metal <laughs> on the figure. And uh, for some people, having diecast parts is a great thing. It gives kind of like quality to the figure, having that little bit of extra weight and you know, it's metal should last longer than plastic but <laughs> the thing is it's it's only part of it it's not the whole thing is the die gas it'll be cool if it's the whole thing's die gas but probably cost more uh yeah and that being said this is my first one and actually i don't have the regular high new they did release that but something tells me it's probably the same just the joints are different being die gas Anyways, that's my little spiel on that. Here's the box. I got that shiny. <laughs> I think this retails about 10,000 yen. That's quite a bit. Um, roughly about 100 bucks, give or take. <laughs> Especially when you have to pay tax and shipping. Yeah. Um, a lot of details here. Not much, probably what we'll see inside. And just the details on this one uh, reminds me of the high new Verka, the Master Grade that they released uh, recently. Uh, it's similar in design. Uh, he has a little bit more curve than the, I think the first uh, high new. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the box. Let's take a look inside. Inside, uh, you're gonna have the the shell packaging or the climate shell, and. Do have a styrofoam here to protect your I knew <laughs> uh, we do have uh, two separate ones uh, you get the six funnels and you have the base yep I just kind of want to share that uh, if you are wondering how's it different in terms of packaging inside we got the base here and now uh, we had that nice golden kind of like etching lettering you got metal robot spirits here and the RX 93 v2 high new Gundam over here and to attach the arm here, uh, we gotta take this out. It's kind of interesting they left it out. Or, yeah, they leave this here. Usually, we, uh, one side is already taken out. Um, initially, I thought you have to push it in uh, to get this thing out, but you actually pull from here. There we go. And it's good to save this. You never know. <laughs> uh, and uh, put this on here. And we basically got the base. And now we're just gonna put this aside. All right, we got the high new here. Um, it's actually a bit more uh, purple. And when we look at the viewfinder, it's showing blue. <laughs> uh, I think it's indigo. It's a color that my camera cannot pick up for some weird reason. Uh, really nice. Um, there's quite a bit of weight on it, as expected for the Mel Robot Spirits line. And starting with the head, you can look left and right. Get that nice, it's somewhat like a gold eye. So, kind of a little different. Kind of same gold as this uh, joint here. The fins are that a, a hard plastic, and you gotta be careful on that one. <laughs> you can look up, you can look down. You got the shoulder armor here. Which is on kind of like a hinge over there. You can uh, rotate this. Just be careful. And the whole uh, shoulder joint there. That's that's die cast. It's really nice. Yep. So a wide variety of poses with this thing. <laughs> then comes the elbow. Elbow bend. It's double jointed. The golden section and there's a hinge on the forearm. Yep. It's quite nice. There we go. Just be careful when you're turning it, you wanna hold it on both ends and just do it slowly. I think the articulation on this one is the same. And on the waist. Fairly good uh, articulation there. 
and even you can lean up and a little bit of well not really forward front skirt so uh, get individual front skirt here um, I think at this point only the certain joints are die cast um, for the main ball you got that plastic feel to it and you get that separate back skirt then you have the legs really nice you can uh, rotate them from the hip um, kick up so quite a bit of a die cast joint right there and you can do a, a knee bend also which is in two, uh, two points really nice um, let's see then you have the joint here for the ankle uh, it's a bull joint um, going on the lower part of the leg then like, there's another joint right there so it's kind of like double jointed but in terms of articulation it's kind of limited especially when you have this thing here um, as opposed to the toe uh, it's just flat I don't think you can fold this down it would be nice if you could and I think that's pretty much it for the base figure now for the attachment all right um, I went ahead and just mounted on the stand right here just makes it a lot easier and uh, we're gonna go install the backpack right here uh, in a bit I think it'll be best to put everything first before mounting it on and it seems like it's uh, the connection is just a little peggier and I think this might clip on over there yep hmm, interesting <laughs> um, let's see I'm just looking at different parts here um, this part here can be well while we're at it uh, we have uh, articulation here which we can rotate and I really like that that it's the wings are really versatile and I'm not sure what that is, a little white speck thing, maybe just a little bit of, maybe the styrofoam or something like that. <laughs> uh, this part has that really nice silver on it. I think we can uh, remove this. There we go. It's a unique, uh, unique shape peg. <laughs> and we can swap it out with this one right here, which I, I like a lot more. So. This one will just peg in place to replace that and uh, you do have that uh, articulation that peg nice details yeah I think I like this one a lot more and put it on we have the fuel pods right here that's that EFSF at Federation think safety force something like that or Space Force. <laughs> uh, nice details. I uh, got some red. Uh, really nice. Just the, the only thing downside is the seam line. And that actually kind of prevalent on this particular figure. There's seam line on the side here. Uh, it's a little unsightly sometimes. And uh, there are a few sections where the paint is kind of uneven. Um, like here on the forearm but uh, just a few little things kind of wondering if I can uh, touch it up but I'm not entirely sure it's a indigo color <laughs> I think I have a paint for that uh, to mount this on it's on a bull joint over there and just pops it in place I think it's uh, more like that same thing here there we go. Now let's go ahead and mount this before we attach the wings. And the snaps in place. It's uh there. It's quite solid. I don't think it's gonna fall off. Alright, so while well, we have that, maybe lean them a little bit forward. There we go. So we get uh, quite a bit of, of these funnels here, which we can bend, and we're just going to bend it on one side like so, 
and start attaching it. And these are on the hinge. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, proceed in doing this. I believe this is I'm trying to see if I'm connecting it properly. Yeah, that's right. I like to design more of the high new as opposed to the new uh, in terms of the funnels. Just a lot nicer. Uh, the new, even for the kits, I always had problems with the new uh, mounting it on. It just heavy on one side. But for the high new, it's more symmetrical, which is a lot great. Um, huh. I didn't realize that. This is actually numbered. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I didn't, I didn't realize they're numbered. So there is a number on the back. And this is number one. Why would they number this? Uh, so take note, there is a number on the funnels. I don't think that it matters, but uh, might, might as well. So I guess they're numbering it this way. Oh, there it goes. Good to know that uh, there's actually an, something we have to take up uh, pay attention to. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me see if I can get this back on. So number two should be next up there one. And it's not cooperating well for me. There we go. Let me grab number three right here. I got that one side, move on to the next. I got number four, it's in the middle, or uh, the bottom here actually. That's weird. Uh, I guess I should start numbering the funnels. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that. That's something unique, I guess. All right, so I'm almost there. I apologize for uh, this, but yeah, there is a number on the funnels. Here we go. Uh, putting this back on. I thought I had it on. Okay, there we go. I think the base, uh, the way it, it's on a certain a joint, uh, I mean, it's kind of like a ratchet joint right here. So I was hoping that you can lean him in a certain angle. Alright, so you can spread out the wings or spread it backward. It's really nice. Um, next, we got a couple of things. Um, actually, we got the beam saber hilts right here. Uh, you get also the beam saber effects, which are here. Um, unique to high new is you connect this one here and have a little guy on the bottom. Okay, kind of interesting. And uh, let me just put it on on his hands. Um, and same. Uh, likewise, we're gonna do the you know, different now. So we have a pair of closed fists. All right then, let's see how hard it is to take this out. <laughs> oh, not at all. <laughs> Wow, okay, that's great. So even the wrist joint is has that die cast uh, joint there. Cool. And now uh, we put this on. There we go. Same thing with the other one. That kind of falls off quite easily, yes. Hmm. I mean, it stays in place, but uh, you can pop it off quite easily. Oh, but for the this one, it's actually these particular uh, hands are just for the beam saber. So there we go, and it's actually a lot stiffer. I suppose this one it's a, a lot more loose. 
So we got that one and we got a couple more accessories. Also there's a, a compartment here on the wings I believe. Um, it's a little notch there where you can uh, open this up. There we go. And this allows us to store it in a beam saber. And just going through the instruction. Yep. So uh, this one just goes here. And yep. something of that matter. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's do the same thing on the other side. Uh, this is probably something that you don't need to do, but if you just want to make sure you don't lose that beam saber hilt, although you're gonna have the, all the other parts, yeah, you can store it in here. There we go. All right, <laughs> next up. So we got that part. You also have the open hands. And more than likely, I'm just going to use one over here. There we go. And we're going to look at the shield. The shield is really nice. He got that uh, silver. Yep. Amuro's uh, insignia, the unicorn. <laughs> really cool. And uh, this comes with the... Uh, connector part and either here or on the back side it's like I'm gonna touch it here there's uh, two parts here that uh, just connects here actually that will be the best way to do this actually I'm gonna attach it this way and there we go I think I like that uh, over there and the next part would be let's see what else we got here so there's two pairs of trigger finger hands you got one that's the trigger finger is a lot closer and you have one is more extended uh, that's because the first one you got the bazooka here and i think some of my fingers you actually can extend this <laughs> but you have a movable handle and you're going to use the one that's more closer so Let's see if I can. Oh, okay. A lot easier than I thought. Sometimes uh, the bottom part kind of sticks out and it's a lot harder. And to probably gonna rotate this. And I was just reminded that dinner time is almost up. <laughs> Alright, so. I had to pause there, but. Getting back to this review, we gotta finish this review. <laughs> uh, okay, we need a little bit more clearance, so we're gonna bend this a little bit more. And hopefully, yeah. I'm kinda curious how we're gonna do this because there's not much uh, play with this wrist. Oh wait, we have a play on the handle. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. There we go. Then we get the bazooka. Quite nicely. Our next part will be the rifle, right here. Some nice details. I, got that, I like that silver finish. And a little bit of uh, gray gun metal. So likewise, you're gonna use the other one with the extended and putting this on, and we just gotta clear the trigger. There we go. It's not too bad uh, positioning that. <laughs> um, I guess you can do a build if you want to, but uh, actually. Well, let's just put this on, but probably I'm gonna keep it with him with a bazooka. The bazooka it's, uh, looks quite nice. Put this uh, here. Actually, this one. Hmm. 
maybe better to do it this way. There we go. I'm kind of afraid that uh, once I push it on, the the gun will uh, scr uh, what do you call this? Rub against the forearm. And uh, there you go. Um, actually, quite nice too uh, to have this, but. I'll still stick with a cannon. <laughs> All right, and just you know, spread out the wings. There we go. Um, I think that's pretty much it uh, in terms of the review. I have to say, I have a little bit of mixed feelings on this robot Tamashi. Um, it would be great if I do have a chance to take a look at the high new, the regular version, compared to this one. Um, uh, but in comparison with my other uh, robot Tamashi. Uh, one of the great things about this, I mean, as a collector, you're getting heft, uh, <laughs> and you can see the diecast parts inside. Uh, yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> and just to compare this with a regular high new release, I have to say it's a big step up. Again, with the joint system, the metallic finish, and the decals applied on this thing, it's amazing. It's kind of like one of those GFF. And as well as the paint app, it's a little different. You get that uh, flat coat. Uh, really great. As opposed to your regular robot damashi where you can feel the plastic. <laughs> but uh, for me, I highly recommend getting this one. I think it's worth you know, a couple extra dollars. It is quite... Uh, there's a big difference in price range. And for the details, for someone like me who appreciate the details added on it, I, I would go with this one, the Metal Robot Damashi. And hopefully they will continue with this line. Maybe just a select few of a certain Robot Damashi that's worth uh, getting this treatment. I'm hoping they make one for Destiny. I missed out on Robot Damashi Destiny. And if they made a Metal Build, uh, not Metal Build. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting a re-release of that too. But if they make a Metal Robot Damashi of Destiny, I will definitely pick it up. Alright, that's about it for the review. Hope you guys like it. And I think that's about it in terms of review. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Beats. Thanks for watching.